Hey guys, James here with TCG University, coming back at you with another deck profile. Today I'm going to be showing you my Nightmare deck. So let's get into it. Okay guys, Nightmare is a 629 with Chaos, Evil, and Fire. He has three abilities, one static, which we will never, I'm not going to read to you because we will never use it in our deck. Uh, R, his other ability is R once per turn. After, you, after your blocked attack resolves, add it to your hand, which is a very key part for a deck. And then E, if your attack is blocked, your opponent discards the top three cards of their deck and loses one vitality for each attack discarded this way. Uh, so he likes to pick up more. He likes to pick up attacks that get blocked, um, and that works out really in our favor. Um, our deck is very unique, and there's not one like it. So uh, let me show you what I got. The only attack with more than three damage in our deck. Prism Storm of Torment. <laughs> uh, so. Um, Prison Storm of Torment is a 7-3, 7 high for 7 with a 1 low block. Gauge 7, Deadlock 7, you don't know if he's gauge, who cares. Um, if it's the 7th card you attempt to play during a turn, it passes for free, then gets a free 7 damage, which just means it's going through. Um, and then you'll never use it to enhance either. Um, basically, if you draw a whole hand of attacks, which is very likely because we play, I think, it, I think last time we counted it was 27. Um, if you draw a whole hand of attacks, all 6, and your opponent blocks just one of them, then when you go to play this as your 7th card, because you'll get to play seven cards for a turn. It passes for free, and you get a free thing out of it. It's sick. It's a super cool card. Another way we get to uh, try and get seven cards played in a turn is we use Covert Intent. Uh, Covert Intent is a 5-1 with a no block. Uh, it ignores progressive difficulty. And then R, discard momentum. After an attack is plays, after an attack resolves, uh, both players discard their card pools. Discard all the cards from their card pools and then draw cards equal to the number of cards they discarded. Basically, we get momentum, play a bunch of cards, discard our entire cards, and make it easier to play our seven deck. Now, how do we get momentum? Well, there's a lot of ways. We're playing four Sun God Choke. It's a five diff, three control. Uh, this is the only other card, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, this is the only other card in our deck that is not a three diff. Outside of uh, obviously the seven diff, uh, it's a five high for three with a three mid block. Uh, when it is added to our momentum, it gets added face up. Uh, we only uh, the first enhances e momentum remove. Uh, your attack with a printed damage of three gets plus five damage, meaning our three damage attack is going to hit really hard. And then e lose two vitality. After this attack resolves, add it to your momentum. So it you play it, pay two. If it deals, it goes. If they block. You, it can go, or if you want, you can add it to your hand. Most time, you just let it go. And they'll have to mill for Nightmare if they block any of our small damage attacks. Uh, so it gets momentum that way. Another way we get momentum is two Flameport. Uh, Flameport's a three, three diff, three control, three mid for three with a three mid block. Uh, it's a Desperation 2 if we ever get there. Uh, e lose one, uh, lose one Vitality. This attack gets plus one speed, plus one damage, making it a 4-4. Four, four. And then E lose one Vitality. If it's blocked, we can add it to our momentum after it resolves. Uh, meaning our opponent will mill, burn it, and we'll get this momentum if they block it. Uh, just forces our opponent into a bad situation because we want to use that momentum for a cool stuff. Uh, we're playing two fatality, free card, zero, 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 003, zero, zero, doesn't matter. Uh, removes cards we don't have to deal with, and it counts towards our card count for the seven drop. And goes to our momentum afterwards, so he's, that's what we use it for. Uh, the next leading card is Reduction. Reduction leads to everything else in our deck, makes everything stronger. Uh, starts off cool combo stuff like that. It's a three three one mid for one with a one mid block breaker two uh, While it's in the card pool our components considered to be at desperation and all of our attacks get plus two speed and plus two damage If it's not blocked, we do get a momentum. It's part of that's its enhance and then if they do block it Obviously, they they'll mill and burn or whatnot. And we can just pick it up and play it again So that means they have to have two full blocks for this reduction Which most of the time they just give us the momentum and choose not to block it Next, we got three Affliction. It's a three, three, four mid for two. Breaker one, gauge two. We'll never use the gauge, don't worry. Uh, two mid block. Uh, e, name a card, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's, the na if it's a copy of the name card, draw a card. So you get to pick up that card. Uh, and then the momentum we use is this one. Uh, e, discard momentum, draw one card, remove, uh, reveal the top card of your deck. So basically, you get to draw one card and replace itself, and then reveal the top card of your deck. And then if it's an attack, you can name it and pick it up. If it's a foundation, you leave it and play your next card. So that way you don't lose a bad check. Because like I said, there are 27 attacks in this deck. Meaning we are going to see a lot of attacks all the time. 
which is why everything's a three diff outside of a couple things. Um, so let's get into the other stuff. We're playing two Tears of Scarlet. It's a three three, two high for three with a three mid block. E, your next attack this turn gets plus two damage, so we're increasing our small damage attacks into bigger damage attacks. And then E, if this attack is blocked, remove it from the game afterwards, meaning uh, it kind of a, doesn't count as progressive and we have to worry about curing cards if we check bad, basically. And then next we have two Redemption. Redemption is a 3-3, three, three, zero mid block, three high for three. Uh, if it's completely blocked, it still deals one damage, so we're still getting that damage in there. So if they do block it, they have to mill and burn, and then we still get that one damage. And then uh, our next ranged or weapon attack gets plus three damage. Uh, and you'll be surprised about how many ranged and weapon attacks are actually in this deck. It's really weird. Uh, I wasn't, didn't even play it that way. I just wanted a three damage attack that guaranteed damage and gave more damage to other things. And then the last card of our deck, and in my opinion, one of the most important cards, is Blood Offering Totem. It's a 3-3, three, three, two mid for one, with a zero high block with Breaker 1 as well. Safe on top of that as, on top of that as well. Uh, after this card is discarded from our hand due to our opponent's effect, we gain five vitality. That's whatever, we don't care. E-Momentum. Your attack with a printed damage of three or less gets plus one damage. This gives free damage to all of our, our small, small, bank, little dinky attacks and makes them bigger. And then E, add this card to your momentum face up during the end phase. So it will always go to our momentum during the end turn, which means our opponent never really wants to block it or they'll end up having to just try and burn with Nightmare. And it's always going to momentum, so it's just an always guaranteed momentum. Okay, on to the other part of the deck. Um, that's really just the main part of the deck. This one just kind of facilitates it. Next, we're going to talk about the draw power of the deck. We're playing two Fiddlesticks. Uh, one of the ways we get to seven is you need to draw a bunch of cards. six is one of the ways that we do that. It's a 2-5 of the 3, low block. E, twice per turn, destroy one ready foundation, draw one card. And then E, once per turn, add one card from momentum to the top of your deck. And, and then that that's playable just once, while the other one is playable twice. So you can draw two times a turn. Uh, it's The top ability is really good for playing the 7-drop. Because like if you get Fatality, you can always add Fatality, draw a card. Play Fatality, it moves again, so you don't have to worry about it. Draw another card if you need to. Like There's just a bunch of possibilities you can do. I'm trying to get to play seven cards so you can play the seven drop. But drawing cards is very important. Four, new Empress in Another Realm. It's a one five of the three high block that says E flip, lose through vitality, draw a card. Like I said, drawing cards is important. We are trying to get to play a seven drop or play as many attacks as possible from our hand as we can. And one of the ways we do that is drawing cards. And then the last draw card in our deck is our ranging a deal. It's a one six with a two mid block that says Desperation E, draw one card. So uh, more cards in hand means more likely to kill somebody. Uh, we are trying to play as many cards as possible from our hand. So True Identity helps us there. It's a 2-5 of the 3 mid block that says form commit. Your checks to play attacks get plus 1 for the rest of the turn. Just means we're going to pass things very easily. Uh, one last of its kind. It's a 2-5 of the 2 low block that says we get to pay 2 and reduce the damage of an attack by 4, making it easier for us, uh, making us take less damage. Uh, and then at Desperation, we give two damage to all of our attacks, which all, all of our attacks being really small matters. And then if we ever get to, if our opponents ever get to Deadlock, we get an extra two damage on top of that, which is also very important. Uh, on to other cool parts. This card draws, but we mainly use it for the other Enhance. Uh, it's a 2-5, two, 2 low block. Born from Destruction. Has a Desperation Breaker too, so that's really good for us as well. E, commit, draw one card, only play if you have lost Vitality this turn. And then the main ability we use, which is E, if there's a copy of this attack and you're removed from game pile, this attack gets plus one speed and plus one damage. Uh, basically, we try to mill through our deck as fast as possible and then remove cards doing other with a couple other foundations to try and get to a point to where all of our small attacks get plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, and just all these small attacks are now hitting for fives and sixes instead of just hitting for like ones and twos. We got four, Soul of the Sword. It's a one five of the two mid block. Uh, we mainly play for the bottom enhance of the fire enhance, which is E. Discard the top three cards of your deck. Your attack gets plus one damage. Make all of our small dinky attacks bigger. We got a worthy vessel. It's a one five of the three high block. E. Flip. Remove one card from either player's discard pile. Works out for our uh, born from destruction. And then E. Once per turn, lose one vitality. This attack gets plus two or minus two damage, making it easier for us to. Uh, kill somebody or make it harder for our opponent to kill us. We got four explosive acrobatics. 
It's a 1 5 with the no block that says E, remove one card from your discard pile from the game. Helps out our uh, Born from Destruction, of course. And then this tech gets minus one speed. Uh, really strong card that gives us uh, the ability to block if we're able to, as well as removing cards to set up other things. We got two no surprises. It's a 0 6 with a no block that says E, check a four. Your opponent discards the top card of their deck. Uh, basically, this card can either mill our opponent. Or we use it to kind of like mill ourselves by checking a four. It's a pretty good card. We're able to play it on every enhance. Uh, then we got two Profane Sanctuary. It's a zero five with a three high block that stops Breaker off or, as a response. And then enhance once per turn, we can discard the top two cards of our de of both players' decks, which is, again, more of the milling factor. Uh, one of the reasons, I never got to play it, but one of the reasons we try to mill through our deck so fast is for Hellward Bound. Hellward Bound is a three five with a two mid block that says... Form flip, discard one attack from your card pool, and then E remove this. Uh, your attack gets plus three speed and plus six damage. Only playable if you have at least ten cards in your remove from game pile, and you have no cards in your discard pile. So more more damage on top of everything else, really. But we never really got to it. Uh, I kind of would have rather if I change things. If you guys like this deck, talk to me. I, I have a couple ideas on how to change this a little bit for the better. Uh, one Soul Edge. Soul Edge is a 2-5, two, 2 mid block. I never really saw this card either. R commit. After your non-throw attack is completely blocked, your opponent discards the top 10 cards of their deck, and then they lose one vitality for each attack discarded that way. It's like a bigger copy of Nightmare's ability. Um, only playable uh, while it's ready. It just kind of just forces our opponent to pick and choose how they want to do things. Uh, this is one of the cards I would have taken out and probably would have played one more um, Cobra Intent instead. But live and learn, right? Uh, then the last card in our deck, three Revoke. Revoke lets us build easier. It's a zero five no block that says um, respond after your opponent plays an enhance ability, cancel its effects, remove this card from the game. Uh, this card just says turn off anything we want, which is nuts. Thanks for checking out the profile, guys. Let me know what you think about my nightmare deck down below in the comments. Make sure to leave a like, share it with your friends. Uh, like super tell me what you guys think about it. I was really proud of this deck. Um, it was a very s small idea that wasn't supposed to work that did actually pretty well. Um, so uh, if you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash TCG University. And as always, guys, stay learned.